Hello and welcome back and today what we'll be doing is building a bird nesting box out of a pallet. I've included guides on the measurements uh, down below in the description for anybody looking to try this out and we'll talk through the process as we build this together. I'm going to be focusing on two boxes today, the first being a robin's nest box and this is what this video will primarily be about but because I have the wood available I also built a nest box for great tits, coal tits, or blue tits, whatever they wanted. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So what I've got here is a basic pallet, uh, and I've measured the base of these pallets. They're going to fit absolutely perfectly. I've got the length in between here and here to do whatever I need to do. And then the sideways length is just slightly under by two centimeters but it is definitely something that we can make work. It is ideal if you could get it slightly bigger, but I can make room for compensation. Then I just want another two centimeters on it, but two centimeters, this should be good enough. Obviously for this pallet, I have one, two, three, four, five, six sections to work with. If you could get a straight piece of wood, that would be ideal, but I'm trying to use this as a recycling method so that something like this is not going to waste. You could use a conventional saw, but in this case, I'm actually going to use a hand-driven chainsaw because I feel I can get this done a wee bit quicker and a wee bit tighter. Well, it started as a good idea, at least, but uh, unfortunately this time you have to accept whenever you're wrong. So I'm going to cut the rest of these pieces out and in the end we should have an empty pallet and six pieces of wood. In the end I was actually pretty fortunate. Um, I only needed three lengths in this build. Reason being is because the actual measurements which I'll attach in the description below. You need a roof, a back, a base, two sides and a front which you can sort of judge and choose whatever option you have there. So I've measured that out um, on the three different lengths there and it all fits. I've marked up whatever I wanted there. So for example, there's my roof and my base, which I'll cut off at some stage, easy enough. Secondly, we have our back bit, which is our longest bit. And that can also constitute as the wee front panel in there as well. And then finally, our side consists of a 200 mil length and 175 mil length, which half and half is 375, which is the full length of that there. So it's a side and side. So two sides, a roof, back base, and a front. You're sorted with three. So it's time to do more cutting off our saws, the favorite part of all this, and then we'll have our pieces ready to go to be hammered in place. So now that we have both our sets cut out and the measurements and the walls, I'll just talk you through exactly what we have so that nobody's in this anywhere. Starting off with the Robins box, we have a roof, we have a back plate, we have two sides, we have a base, and we have a front panel. Now, Robins like an open nested box, as you'd seen at the start of the video, and they like that in sort of roughly about head height in deep vegetation. If you have ivy growing, brilliant place for it. Just make it sure it's stable and secure. For the blue tit box, it is the exact same again. Same sort of measurements. We need a roof, we need two side panels, our back panel, our base floor, and our front panel. The only difference is with a blue tit or a tit box is that on the front panel, it's going to be an enclosed surface. The only exception being is a small 25 millimeter hole cut in the front surface panel. 
Now, I achieved this by drilling several holes and then using a file to cut that down, but that took a lengthy process, and what we're focusing on today is our Robin's nest box. As I said, the description and heights of everything are included down below, but again, just as a refresher for anybody who wants those measurements again, and just what you need to put this together is a hammer and a set of nails. For the back panel, you'll need that 300 millimeters by 150. For the base panel, you'll need that 120 millimeters by 150. For the side panels, you'll have them 200 high at the back end and 170 five at the front end and what I'm doing now is just making sure that all my bits and pieces of wood line up exactly where I want them and that there's no need for filing down the wood or sanding it down to make sure I have them all in the correct place. Swift hammer one two with the nails it'll get that rightly in place. For the front panel you can have that a medium height uh, for 150 millimeters or 100 millimeters and for the roof, it is a 200 millimeter roof with a bit of an overhang just to protect the entrance to the box. And here we go. It's the finished result for my Robin's nest box. Wee bit of shoddy hammering work with the nails, but I'm glad my day job is not as a carpenter. And there we go. After a solid afternoon's work, we now have a nest box made out of an old pallet that would have just been destroyed. So we've taken something old and made it into something new, and that's pretty cool in and of itself. My principal philosophy still stands that uh, just go out there and create something. It may not be the best nest box in the world, and sure I could have paid £7 to buy one inside a store, but this was handcrafted by myself, took a wee bit of effort, but you know, you created something and you got there, and I doubly created something in creating this video as well to show and document my creative process. As always, you can check me out on Instagram at Mr. Quinn Photography, and I'll catch you in the next video.